the geometry news. CSI geometry is first. Hi everybody, welcome to CSI geometry. Today we're going to solve the case of the missing triangle. As you can see, this triangle has been murdered. This triangle has been murdered. identify who was killed. We have pictures of two triangles who we think could be the missing triangle and now we have to use inverse trade to match the triangles. Let's start. We know the measures of the legs are 15 and 20. Now we have to use inverse trig to solve because tan A is equal to 15 over 20, which is 0 0.75, tan negative 1 times 0 0.075 is equal to the measure of angle A. Now use your calculator and put tan of negative 1 times 0 0.75 closing your parentheses. Ready? Now press enter and your answer will be 36.9 and that is the measure of angle A. We can match who the triangle was. That means triangle number two is the missing triangle. Join us next time on CSI Geometry. And now, a word from our sponsors. Are you tired of boring desserts? Do you want something more after every meal? Are you unhappy with what you have? If you're eating ice cream like this, or granola bars like these, you need something more. But don't worry, because we've got something for you. Now presenting to you the Pie Pie. Get your pie-themed pie in a variety of flavors and different designs. It's delicious and never boring. Call right now and get one Pie Pie for $31.41. But wait, there's more. Call right now and get two pies for the price of one. Yup, that's right. Get two pie pies for the price of one. That's two pie pies for $31.41. But you've got to call right now. To order your pie pie, call us at 314-159-2654. That's 314-159-2654. Enjoy! Breaking news is a really hard problem we have to solve.
Now to ratio Riley for sports. Thanks, Midpoint Molly. Check out this clip of the Brentford soccer team doing the crossbar challenge. Oh, a little fringe looks adorable, isn't he? He's got a chance to be fair. If he could move the ball forward about 14 yards. <laughs> What a great shot! We need to find the angle of elevation of Alex's kick. Let's assume that Alex was 10 feet away from the net. The net is 8 feet tall. In order to solve this problem, we need to use inverse tangent. Let's go! Okay, so we said that we were going to assume that he's about 10 feet away from the net. And the net is 8 feet tall. So in order to do this, we need to use inverse tangent, but first we need to find the real tangent. So tangent of x is equal to 8 over 10, which is equal to 4 over 5, which is equal to 0 0.8. And then we'll use inverse tangent to find the angle of elevation. So tan negative 1 times 0 0.8 8 close parentheses is equal to the measure of angle x. And if you type that into your calculator, which I already did, the measure of angle x is equal to 38.7 degrees. And that's the angle of elevation. This is Ratio Riley for Geometry News. Back to you, Midpoint Molly.